Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. Today I'll be talking about an important topic which is dealing with complex numbers in ComSol Multiphysics. In order to learn this particular topic, I'll follow a mechanism wherein I'll generate my complex number from a MATLAB code and then I'll store those numbers in data files and then try to import those data files in ComSol interface and the data files will be imported separately for the real part and for the imaginary part and then we will combine those two to form a complex number and then we will see how exactly ComSol deals with this complex number. So this video talks about importing complex number from external sources, embedding it to the ComSol interface and usage of the same for your modeling and simulation purpose. Now you may ask me where exactly we need complex numbers. So in order to answer this question in many differential equations like when you, so when you solve electric field in frequency domain then it has a permittivity part or sometimes an equation has conductivity part. So those Physical parameters are basically a complex parameter and they have physical significance for their respective real and complex values. So we'll be talking about those physical parameters separately in some other video. But today we'll let's, let us create the generate the complex number and then import it. So to do that what I need to do I need to open a file. So I write file id equal to f open so those are the syntaxes in matlab to open a complex number open a file not a complex number so we need to name the file say initially we'll have a real part say real part dot txt will save it in a txt file and we will need another part for the say file id2 or file id1 initially it was file id equal to f open so this will be say the imaginary part so what i write image part so this two command will open files but we need to mention that uh, this should be in writing mode that we need to define here in inverted comma if we put w that means it is writing mode so you can open the file and you can write something now what i need to do i need to define uh, the parameters by which I will generate the complex number. So the idea is I will be generating a complex pressure distribution along a certain section. Suppose I will be dealing with a laminar flow wherein the pressure will be taken as a complex form and then we will be putting the absolute value of the pressure at the inlet. So let, let us say uh, the inlet height is 1 centimeter that means 0 0.01 so we choose h equal to 1. So say this section, inlet section, that is the height, we divide into 100 sections along y direction. So we define dy equal to h by 100. So it can be, it's, it's like the, uh, the, the mesh division. And then we define the lambda, lambda of the pressure, say lambda is h by 2 for the time being. And we need to define the k, the wave number. So we know k equal to 2 into pi by lambda. So here lambda is L. So we have defined h, we have defined the lambda, we have defined the k. And we know the pressure is equal to p exponential of minus p exponential of i. Two pi k x, i k x actually p is equal to so in uh, comment form I can write say P would be equal to some constant pressure into exponential of I 
into k into x so we'll be implementing this as a loop because we need to calculate pressure at different grid points so for that what i do i run a for loop so for m equal to 1 to 100 we roll over the loop 100 times because we have divided the heights by 100 sections then we calculate the pressure so uh, this pressure would be this say this one okay let me define the p0 say the p0 is 5 pascal say okay now what i need to do i need to define my real part and imaginary part say i define real part here so the data will be generated against the grid location so in the pr part we will have the grid location and the pressure itself so the grid location would be given by m into dy comma and the real part of the pressure will be real p so that gives the real part of the pressure so this is p now we write imaginary part of the pressure so this will be similar to this so i copy it i paste it here so instead of real it will be image that means imaginary part so in pr and in pi we stored these two factors at these two values that means the real part of the pressure and the imaginary part of the pressure now we have to write those in the file so we have already we have already written the opening version of file opening commands now we have to write the printing command so let us do that so let me copy it yeah, I have copied the writing comments because it is taking time. So we have written the comments for writing this PR and PI here. And then it is done. Let us end the loop and F close all the files. So otherwise you can't delete the files after creating it. So that's why F close is very important. So let us save the file. I have created a folder let us save the file here complex p okay okay this is not take this name is not taking so we just write complex yeah this is so yeah we are running the files i hope it yeah it has generated the real part there is some issue let me just look at it okay the i did not write dot txt here so that is one of the issues let me run it once again let's see whether it has created the files i hope now it has created but still it's not getting the data so let's see what happened okay uh, i could not able to delete the file somehow it happened so what i did is i changed the name so that it opens another file and store the data there so now let me run it yeah i can see another file sir yeah so this is the real part in real part one we can see the uh, data has been generated and similarly in the imaginary part one the data is there so now we will be importing this data in console interface so we go here we go to model wizard go to 2d now we go to fluid flow single phase flow will going forward with the laminar flow then we take time dependent study click on done 
So we'll be taking a rectangular cross section, rectangular channel. So in the geometry, let us make it meter because we have defined it 0 0.01. That means centimeter was defined in meter. So we take a rectangle, the height should be one because from the data, you, if you remember, one centimeter. So it should be 0 0.01 meter. And let's say this width is five times of that. So 0 0.05, say this is the channel. Now in the material, we need to add water. So we go to material library, recently used material, water is not there. We look for water, write water and search. So water liquid, yeah, we have, yeah, it has been added. Now in the laminar flow, we need to add an inlet and the inlet is here say and we need to add an outlet say this is the outlet at this position now let us do the most important process that is importing the data so I go to definition right click there I go to functions I go to interpolation so in interpolation, you need to change it to file. Then you can be able to browse the files. So the files are in my downloads, complex pressure. So the real part, real part one, I should import. You can plot it to see how it looks. I clicked on plot, it will come. So this is the plot for the pressure the real part so you need you need to define the unit so the unit is pascal and the argument is in meter that means this direction that i define now i put another interpolation and change it to file browse and real imaginary part i should take the imaginary part one again i plot it so it was the for this one i took sorry uh, initially also i took the imaginary part it should be the real part so the real part one is this so the first one int one yeah this one is the real part and the other one is the imaginary part. So now we have taken the real part and the imaginary part. Now in the definition, I right click and go to variables. I define something P in that is the inlet pressure. Say inlet pressure is int 1. It's a function of y. So int 1 y plus int 2. Is it? It is also function of y into 1i because this is the into is the imaginary part that's it. that's why we define it by 1i so this is the p in okay p in is already there something so let us define by some other say pressure we write it p r s press Okay, the unit should be in Pascal. So we have defined this one in Pascal for the imaginary one also, we need to define, it was not defined. That's why there is an error still. So we define it now. I hope now this yellow error will go. Yeah, so there is no yellow error because we have defined the units properly. Now this pressure, is a complex form but in the inlet I want to put as the absolute value of the same so what I can do I can write I can change it to pressure I can write ABS of PRES I hope it would work it has taken so then we go for a normal meshing for the time being and click on compute I hope it works 
let's see what happens the simulation is running it will take some few seconds yeah this is done so you can see because of this pressure distribution this is the velocity profile so yeah as you see with respect to time it is changing because there is a sinusoidal variation and that is why it's little bit different than constant inlet pressure but anyway the idea was to show you how exactly complex numbers can be imp imported and it can be converted into absolute value or real value and use in your console simulation i'll be i'll be uploading more videos on this complex part if you are liking our videos do subscribe to our channel and share these videos with your peers so that i get more motivation to upload videos